Oh, um, <clears throat> so I, uh, I was living in a small little town, a small little school I went to college in, and they, uh, they had a study abroad program. They had three places to go. I had to go to either University of Derby, which I was like, I'm not going to become a Derby County supporter. Um, then they were they had a University of York, and that's just in the middle of nowhere. And I didn't wasn't going to go to York, but they had University of Wolverhampton, and so I went there. And then uh, I lived at a dorm that was right next to the stadium. And so if uh, I would go to games all the time and I only picked there because I'm like, oh, there's so many soccer teams around, you know, there's, there's Villa and Birmingham city and wolves and, uh, Walsall and like, you know, West Brom, all these teams that you go and watch. And, um, yeah, I just, uh, I just decided that that was like, I'd go there and, but the stadium was right next to the dorm. Like I could, if I didn't go, I could open up the, my, my window and I would hear the, the roar of the crowd and whatnot. So, I, uh, yeah, I just, I just became fans of them, you know, like it, players like Richard Stearman, Carl Akeme, you know, David Edwards. These are all guys that I would like watch, you know, in my, in my, my years. Roger Johnson. That's another one. But, um, but the other team, my hometown team, New England Revolution, where uh, we are the my hometown team is New England Revolution. They're uh, I follow them. I watch the MLS as well. You know, being American, I can't be like a Euro snob and just only watch the European game. I, I enjoy it, but I gotta watch my hometown team as well. And uh, Oh yeah, yeah, Langoni, great. Uh Langoni's great. I'm I'm hopeful. We've been picking up Argentine players for a while now. We got Stovo Bo, we got Chunkalai, now we got Luca Langoni. Mm, Abdul Hadi, Jakob, Castaneda, Agba. Unchanged, yeah. Put him back on. Yeah, we are. We are. Um, it stinks because, like, you know, we uh, we were so unbelievable under Bruce Arena. And then, uh, sure enough, we, you know, it, something happened with his staff. They got in a fight, probably. And then uh, the league fired Bruce Arena. They split up the, like, they broke up the entire coaching staff basically almost the t like the front office got completely ob obliterated and now we're this is the first season since the Bruce Arena era and now we have Caleb Porter who's a good coach but he's still dealing with like the the fallout you know um you know the contract situations the players still don't even the players still don't know what happened which is crazy uh, the MLS even locked it down so much that the players aren't allowed to know. So, um, yeah, I mean, that team basically just needs to be gutted and, like, redone, which is unfortunate. Oh, come on, Agba. Um, but we're, that's, so that's the reason why we're bottom. We've, But we're also, this is a cool fact, for American sports, across all of the big major leagues, like MLS, the MLB, the, the baseball league, the, the uh, basketball, NFL, everything. Um, we're the only team to go to five like championship games and lose all of them. <laughs> it's over like the, like, it's so stupid. Uh, Okay. Not good enough. Not good enough. <clears throat> I 
Oh, there we go. Oh, come on, Jakob. That's super offsides. Um, but we got Taylor Twelman as a legend. He was great. He was great. Jeff Shee, he's one of the... Oh, Jeff Shee. Dude, he treats the fan base so terribly at Wolves. Um, he really is... Uh, he looks at Wolves... Unfortunately, he... I mean, fortunate and unfortunate. Fortunate in the sense of the, the financial aspect. Like, he wants to make it profitable and self-sustaining which is a brighton model brighton is is like that and it's uh does really well however um i mean he's ripping off the uh the fans like big big time and um yeah and also it seems as though he's promising funding in a budget oh my god I, <laughs> you could watch that goal Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're so much better than some of these teams. But like he raised the prices on play everybody like big time. And that was a uh that was a big that was a big issue. It's like the the sloppiest goal you'll ever want the concede right there. Um but I'm glad that we scored it. But yeah. But he, uh, sorry, Jeff Sheet, he doesn't communicate with the manager well about funding and budget for players because it's clear that uh, Lopetegui and now Gary, oh, that sucks. Gary O'Neill were like kind of sold a bag of tricks and um, they're kind of pissed off about like the fact that, you know, Gary O'Neill's like, okay, well, look, you sold Pedro Neto for like 40, 50 million, 60 million, whatever it was. He's like, aren't you going to reinvest it? And then we, we bought a 18 year old French player for like 5 million. And we're like, yep, there's the reinvestment. Uh, I, uh, I don't know if, I, like, Twelman, I'm okay on Twelman. Like, you know, I understand why he's not everybody's favorite when it comes to the commentary. But, uh, he was a great player for us, so I'm, you know, he'll be good in my books. Uh, also, oh, I met him on a plane once. I ran into him like randomly. Uh, I didn't say hi to him or anything, but like, you know, so it was very odd. It was very odd. Oh, there we go. 2-1. Bruno Castaneda. Oh, uh, so... He works for Apple. Uh, Taylor Twelman does, and uh, basically, I was coming. He lives in the Boston area. I think he lives in like uh, I don't know. He still lives around where like the New England Revolution are, and essentially, he was flying from Boston to L.A. And uh, I live in L.A. now, but I'm from the Boston area, so I was coming home, or I was coming leaving home to come back to where I live now. And, um, yeah, he was on the flight. 
he was sitting first class. So like, you know, I walk in, I'm like, and uh, LAFC was playing against, um, I want to say it was Miami or something. It was a big team at the time. I can't remember if it was this season or last season. I want to say it was last season. But they were playing against a like, big marquee game. It was like LAFC against somebody else. Like maybe Columbus or something. It was like a regular season game. It wasn't a, a, a postseason game. There we go, Agba. Come on. Oof. Okay. Oh my God, I scrambled off the line. Oh, um, I'll probably, during the week, it'll be roughly about the same time, probably about 7 o'clock, um, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, and then during the day on uh, Saturday, Sunday. I'll I'll post it later, but uh, definitely give me a follow. I'll be around. Also, I have a YouTube channel, too. Um, I did a uh, lower league, like, one season wonder in Spain or something like that, but uh, it was a good time. But enjoy talking to you. Uh, El Taro 72 have a good one and uh, yeah I'll be I'll be around for sure I'm, I'll be streaming around and I'll post the schedule as well for the streaming schedule Absolutely. Have a good one, man. No, and you'll, you'll get a notification as well, for sure. That's not a problem. Um, I'll post a streaming schedule. There's one on uh, like the Twitch page. Um, so that's uh, something you can get, but I'll post it. It's going to basically be around like 7.30 to 10.30. So I'll, I'll be logging off probably in a little bit as well, but uh, that's Pacific time, 7.30 to, to 10.30 or so. But um, yeah, you know, Tuesdays, Thursdays are the best. Um, I'll try to even make it on Wednesdays as well because I like to do you know, I'd like to see if I can get two to three days a week on streaming. And, um, yeah, it, this is, uh, streaming is relatively new, so I'm not like a, a seasoned pro here. But, um, yeah, I, you know, I'd like to make it a part of my my gaming schedule. And then, But I do also like to post these on uh, YouTube as well, the, the streams. I, I got like two streams uh, that I've yet to post. This one and then one from uh, two days ago. So, um, yeah, you know, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be available. It's the same thing. Jack city gaming on YouTube and also, uh, here on Twitch. So it'd be great.
All right. I think I'm gonna win the title here. I think this is gonna be it. I think mathematically at least. I literally cannot believe that I've been running Riot the whole time. Have I? No. So close. Literally a point away. Good job, Agba. Thank you. Send the assistant. I do not want to talk to the press. All right, and this is it. We're uh, I'm gonna be out. This is uh, we're at promotion. We're about to win the title here. So yeah, that'll be on the next stream. Out for the title, and we're gonna be uh, trying to see if we can actually lock it down without a loss because we're very very close. Three days, three games. That is three games.